is it day 27 already? Is, I mean, I feel like we just got together yesterday to do day one, and yet I've grown so much in this series. I've, I've felt, I have felt the momentum. I, I've, I've felt like we've made some inroads here. Like, man, it's been good. And so here we are. Yesterday we talked about having a lasting legacy, about blessing Jesus. And, and today is like, it's kind of funny, but I, but I want us to get the bigger picture of what God is speaking to us right now as we see Jesus clearly. In Matthew chapter 27, Jesus was murdered, right? He was taken down off the cross. They put him in a, in a little cave. Uh, and then they rolled the stone in front of it. Here's what Pilate said to the guards. Have a guard go and make the grave secure. In verse 65, make it as secure as you know how. And you and I would say, good luck with that, right? Like we would say, yeah, how'd that work out for you? Can you imagine a rock being too heavy for God to move? The God who spoke the earth into existence. I, I mean, by his words, everything was formed. And yet these humans think they can put a rock in the way and block the plan of God for Jesus in that day and hour. Sounds pretty silly, doesn't it? It sounds a little ridiculous when we look at it that way, right? Like, did you really think you're going to stop him, the one who walked on water, multiplied bread. You think you're going to stop him with a rock, right? Like, kind of silly, yeah? Like, you, of course you say it's silly. Let me turn this a little bit. There is no force on earth that can block God's plan for you. Not, there's nothing on earth that can block the will of God for your life. There is nothing on earth that can keep Jesus from fulfilling his call in your life. There's no force that can block the blessing of God for you and your family. It's, it's just not possible because he is God and we are not. If he's the God, that means he has the final say, not us. He has the final word. He determines what's going to happen, not us. We want to cooperate with his plan, but in the end, he's God. I don't know what you think has been too hard for God, but I'm here to tell you today. I want you to see Jesus clearly. He's the God who laughed at that rock in front of his grave. The cross couldn't hold him. Man's determination to stop him could not block his purpose, and your sin didn't even stop him. That's why you're listening to this devotion because you're a child of God. Speak to every obstacle today and laugh at it and let it know God's plan is coming to pass in my life and Jesus will be glorified. Amen? Hey, tomorrow's our final day. Dress up and wear something nice. See you then.